Mary D. Rosa was a child of nine kids and was born to a religious family. Thank the Lord for I've had another child. The Lord has blessed us. Paula lived a very religious and peaceful life until she became 17. Paula's mother died of tuberculosis. Mother, will you die? What will happen? <laughs> <coughs> My dear child, I am very ill and I may die soon, but don't worry. <coughs> I will go with the Lord. The Lord will lead the way. I will hire a nun to take care of you. What about you, Father? I am not able to take care of you and your siblings anymore. A few minutes later, Paula's mother died. <laughs> it is the year 1848 in the middle of the war in Brazil, Italy. Attack! It looks bad out there. You guys shouldn't be here. We don't need nuns. We need medical people. We will stay here and comfort the dying. The next day, Paula gets a crazy idea. I shall go out to the battlefields and care for the soldiers. Help! Don't worry, I shall help you. Will you be the supervisor of a workhouse for poor girls? Yes, I shall go out and be the supervisor of a workhouse for poor girls. When Paula was 26, she worried about the girls and where they will go at night. We have nowhere to go at night and no food. Don't worry, I'll look for a place for you to stay. Quit the workhouse. I shall open the boarding house for poor girls and help my brother with the school for the deaf. The poor girls move into the boarding house. Thank you, Paula, for all your help. No worries, it's my job. A few years later, Paula's best friends died, Gabriella and Monsignor Pizzoni. I shall always remember you. Paula has been helping however she can. Then a couple years later, Paula died from natural causes. Then Paula's canonized and became St. Mary de Rosa. I now canonize you St. Mary de Rosa. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, you open Mary de Rosa's heart to young people who are lonely, unwanted, and in need of her comfort. There are still too many children in the world who suffer from the emptiness of abuse and neglect. We ask you to bless the new families who raise them. Let them offer the love and security that every child deserves. Teach us to nurture all children in a community of hope and help us make the world a better place for them to live. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.